welcome i'm jess your paint instructor i make paint tutorial videos and today we are going to be doing this one uh, i will have videos every tuesday so if you like painting and you want to do something fun and creative with your time please don't forget to subscribe otherwise gather your materials uh, in the description box i have made a list for you and without any further ado let's get started start with our background I'm gonna use purple I'm just gonna make um, some downward strokes I just mixed this purple so it's still actually kind of just red and blue but that's okay I'm gonna use purple for the bottom half just to give our puppy a place to sit And then I'm going to use lavender for this top half. So I guess like one third is going to be purple. Two thirds is going to be like a very light color or version of whatever you're choosing for the background. Just so it looks like our puppy is sitting on the floor. Once you have your background done, just a dark and a really light layer of the same version or whatever you want, let it give it a good dry and we'll come back and we'll build the first layers of our dog. We are going to start with, I'm, I put a little, um, just a little burnt sienna with my white. Our dog is going to be mostly black and white, but having a little bit of a cream color for the first layer will give them more depth and warmth. I'm going to start with the head, which is going to be a circle. I'm going to do a oval shaped body. I'm going to do, this is going to be the snout, but we're going to do like a, just a U shape or maybe a teardrop shape for the muzzle. So his muzzle is going to go down and around and their nose is going to be right here. I'm going to do big round feet. These are going to be the hind legs. He's going to be sitting kind of like a teddy bear. So, so far, basically, we're just making circles. It's like a cream color, in a cream color, doing circles. And this is our foundation. And then I will be doing two legs that go down and up. I don't know if I'm ready to make the legs yet, but I'm just kind of sketching out or putting a layer on where his front paws will be. I was going to do the head tilted a little bit, but I've already put it, the cheeks in, so we'll just have it straight up. And this is going to be a Boston Terrier, so we're going to do pretty big ears. The ears are going to be a triangle. You can start with just a big triangle, but then they kind of go out a little bit, so I'm going to put a um, just a little paint right here that goes down and around. So up and down, make a triangle, but then bring it out just a little bit on the bottom side for the ear. So 
So now we have all of our basic shapes. We're gonna let this layer dry. We're gonna think about what's gonna be on the base layer. So I'm gonna take pink and I'm just gonna create the inside of the ear. We're gonna do another layer over this pink color. Take pink and make two triangles. Next, we're gonna take white and we're gonna do a layer of this on the feet. We're going to do the front legs because these are going to be the things that are closest to us. We're just going to put a little white on this area, just very lightly. White on his face, on the middle portion of his face, or her face. I'm going to take a little burnt sienna and go on the outside, creating a shadow around the back and blending it in with white. to help blend it in. All right, I'm gonna take pure white and do that teardrop shape, which is going to be the dog's mouth. We're gonna go back up to the ears. And do a make sure your pink is dry first. If it's not, just wait a few minutes. I'm gonna do a line from the head to the tip of the ears on both sides of just white. And then we're gonna do this shape down here. And just go around that pink color that we did. basically want the pink to just be peeking through. Next I'm going to take and I'm going to just do some layers up like it's his fur or her fur covering the rest of that pink. Take a little burnt sienna around the edges of the face for a shadow. Take a little more burnt sienna, just go on the very edge of the ear. Get a little extra paint off my brush because I just want to blend this in. to my brush. I'm just kind of going around the outsides of the body and the head. I'm going to go around the bottom of the feet. I'm actually going to add just a little bit more burnt sienna to create just like a little shadow so that it's not looking too flat. All right, I'm going to take black. I don't know why I was Putting um, burn sand here because the ears need to be black, anyways. Um, so I'm actually just going to do a gray, like a dark gray. Just 
Either way, that burns you know, it will still help give some warmth and a good undertone to our, our Boston Terrier. So I'm just going over the ears where there is white and I'm putting a gray, but I'm not going to cover everything. So we'll make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to cover that. Make it look like fur. And we're going to come around the face with this nice dark gray. Alright, continuing with a dark gray. So I want, the, I want, we want to be able to see the eyes. So let's, we're gonna keep white right here. And just fill in dark gray around the outside and around the outside of the body. Do little spots of black where you feel is good. I'm gonna grab my quarter inch paintbrush. I was using my half inch. I grab my quarter inch just to get finer details. Put a little black on the bottom. brush I'm going to give my boss my terrier a big black nose I'm going to add white and I'm going to do the belly kind of like a gray color. This one between his legs. I'm going to go down around the side. Don't worry about those legs. We'll do a, a final layer on the legs once we get the belly blended in. So I'm just doing um, a nice kind of U shape. So I'm going across, down, and up, across, down, and up because the body is a cylinder. I'm going to fill in the rest of that burnt sienna. And on this side too. I think right here I'm going to put a pink tongue. Alright, I'm going to grab more white. It's going to be a very light gray for the rest of his foot. more white. I want the foot to mostly be white. And now for the final layer of the front legs. some pure white on my paintbrush. This might not be the final layer. I 
I'm kind of building up so that the lightest point of the leg is on the top, like that bright white. With a nice clean brush, I'm gonna clean mine off. We're gonna put some white on his muzzle. Of just pure white. Be careful if your nose is still a little wet. And if it is like mine was, I get a little gray in there. You can always go through when it's completely dry and do one more layer of white. I'm going to take pink for the tongue. And mouth. Now let's let that dry and we'll do our final layer of details in a few minutes. All right, with your quarter inch paintbrush, I'm gonna go with white, a bright white, and I'm just gonna add a line under that mouth and tongue, kind of accentuate it like a jaw. I'm gonna add more white to the chest. Just here and there. And then as far as the feet go, do the colors that you want. I think I'm going to give him black feet and like a whiter arm. I'm going to go up the side a little, but you can be creative with the feet. You can have one, one black, one white. It's up to you. It could be any color. white. I'm actually going to let that dry before I add to it. Let's grab, uh, clean your paintbrush off again. We'll grab pink. We'll do the bottom of the feet. I'm going to do a big circle towards the bottom half of their foot. And my paintbrush is slightly wet. If you want to, it could be cute to make those into hearts too. I'm just gonna do circles. That's their big, uh, the big pad on the bottom of their foot. And I'm gonna do three small circles or circle type, you know, round shapes for their toes. They don't have to be perfect. Um, okay, that looks good. Get a really clean brush, and if you're happy, I'm actually gonna add a little more gray to the face. Let me go down to the edges of both sides of that nose. this with white one more time because usually on a terrier like this it's pretty white go around my muzzle one more time So I, that ended up turning a little gray. So what I'll do is I'll just let that dry and I'll do white over this side one more time before we finish. But I'm, while we're waiting, 
Let's see. I'm gonna add a little more gray um, to this side. Let's get a nice clean brush. We need pure black now because we're gonna do our terrier's eyes. We're gonna go in with our black and do the eyes. I'm gonna kind of go over this white line just a little bit to help them stand out. And I'm leaving, I'm not doing a perfect circle. I want part of the circle to be cut off by that muzzle so that our terrier looks like they are super happy. Let's try to make sure they're about the same size. I clean my paintbrush off. I got a really nice bright white, and I'm just gonna finish the front legs with just some organic shapes because, you know, all terriers are a little different. Put a little highlight in the foot. blending and just a little bit more white. All right, that looks good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my tiniest brush. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of white to the very bottom of the feet, just so that they stand out. So they kind of blend into the background a little. We are going through now with our tiniest of tiny paint brushes or a Sharpie. And we're going to outline with black anywhere that we think needs to be outlined. There's no exact science to this, just whatever you feel is right. Just make sure that your paintbrush is nice and wet and that your black paint is a little bit loose. So adding just a tiny drop of water to your black paint will help a lot. All right, we're last step. We are going to put the highlights on our puppy's uh, eyes and nose. I'm going to do kind of a oval shape highlight on the nose. I will do a big highlight on the eyes in the same spot about right here and here. I'm gonna grab a my quarter inch for my quarter inch paintbrush for the big highlight is just easier. And we'll do two baby highlights under. The last detail I'd like to add with some freckles or whiskers on the muzzle. Yeah, I'll just do the dots. All right, and there you have it. You can give your puppy a name and a signature on there and then you have a beautiful piece of artwork.
thank you for joining me and creating this adorable Boston Terrier. You can find me on Instagram and share your paintings with me. I always love to see them. Uh, you can use the hashtag, hashtag painting with Jessica Darling, and I will look at them there. But anyways, thanks for coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be posting videos like this every Tuesday.